Hi there. So, uh, this is going to be a little bit of a blacksmithing video. And what we're going to make is sort of a, the hardware for a tripod campfire set. And honestly, I don't do any camping at all. And we don't really do any outdoor cooking other than on the rocket stove. But what inspired me to make this was I watched uh, this Japanese animated film called uh, Bakemono no Ko, which is uh, actually a great film. I recommend it, recommend it highly to anybody. And uh, I won't go into the plot details, but there's this scene um, where Kyuta and Hyakushubo are sort of sitting outside of their tent in this desert and they're cooking um, actually they're boiling some water for tea and talking, you know, and I actually found a still picture of, uh, that, um, scene, and what they've got is they've, it's a, it's a campfire tripod set, but it's just three sticks, which a lot of, if you watch, if you, you know, watch any of the bushcraft campfire set videos, there's either, like, the blacksmith ones, which are, like, these, um, metal stakes with rings on the end, to make the campfire tripod or there's like the bushcraft ones where they use like three wooden you know poles and then they lash them together with cordage to make the tripod and what they had in that scene and I found a still photo of that scene a very you know small chain like this wrapped around the sticks maybe they've got it tied around the sticks it's hard to hard to tell but I had some chain like this and I was like, I can make that. And, but from the look of that s photo, it actually looks like there isn't any blacksmith um, fixtures on the chain at all. It's just either wrapped several times or tied. But what I thought I could do, because I had this section of chain, I cut it down. What I'm gonna do is take this little piece of chain that I cut and I'm gonna try and forge it into a little bit of a grab hook like this. And then I'll make a few, I think, forged S hooks similar to what's in the picture, you know, to like hook on the chain or hook together to drop down, you know, to get your pot to the right distance from your heat. So it's actually kind of cool that I actually have the exact same kind of chain, as far as I can tell, as what's in the film. So, um, yeah, so that's all I'm going to do. Just real, really simple, very basic stuff. It shouldn't be any difficulty at all. Um, I just wanted to make it, even though we probably will only use it a couple of times, just because it just, I had the chain, and I love that film, and I thought it would be fun, and I think we could have some fun, you know, cooking over the campfire and making some tea in the woods or whatever. You know, even though I'm not really a big camper or anything like that. The only difficulty is I don't have good tongs for holding... Um, this size material, so I'm just gonna have to make do with like uh, the flat jaw tongs that I have. The first thing I'm gonna do, I think, is forge the eye part here, just so that I have something to hang on to this, so I don't lose this in the fire, because that's you know my big problem right now. I'm gonna try and just heat it up while it's on the on the chain a little bit, just so that I don't lose it. I don't have the right tongs. So it's just going to be a little fussy not to lose it in the fire. These are the wrong tongs. I got to make... John Switzer just did a video on those pause tongs. Those would be perfect for this.
what I'm trying to do is to make this bend kind of at 90 degrees. to the eye. See that? I'll have to probably refine it over on the vise. So that, I'm reasonably happy with that. I'm gonna straighten it a little bit. I can make this S hook. I think with these S hooks, I'm going to flatten the top part of the, of the hook just to make them slip into the ring the links a little bit easier since they're kind of narrow. Okay, so the battery died, and I was not able to finish filming while the, the rest of my forging activities there. But what we ended up getting done were three S-hooks. I, I think this one got made on camera, and then two more. And this one I kind of made out of a piece of eighth by three quarters um, flat bar. I don't know, I just was experimenting. But in terms of the actual chain, we forged our little grab hook and then off camera I opened up this last ring link, this last link on the end of the chain into a ring. And uh, if you don't have a forge, you could probably do that cold. And so I also went out to the woods and cut three poles to experiment with making the tripod. And it turns out Using the grab hook is a little problematic. I thought that would give me a lot of options for adjustment, but it, it's hard to just wrap the chain around. I can show you. It's difficult to wrap the chain around with the grab hook and get a really tight, so like it's easy to, to hook it, you can see, but it's, it's a little bit loose. And there's only, you know, so many, um, so there we go, there's another, and then you can get it to work, but it's a little loose and you end up having to run the chain over the top and that ends up, if you run the chain 
the end of the chain kind of over the top, you can get it pretty tight, but using the grab hook's a little loosey-goosey, but it would absolutely would work. Um, but, you know, bumping the, just without some tension on the end of the chain, when you have tension on the end of it, it's pretty tight. But, um, what actually ended up, looks like it works better, is using this ring. Um, so if we take the grab hook off, so if you have this ring, you can just pass the other end of the chain through the ring, and it makes a loop, like sort of a slip loop, and you can just run that over, and that ends up getting a lot tighter. easier um, and then so this grab hook doesn't really do much I guess although you can hook the hooks into it no problem um, but with these S hooks they'll fit into any length of the chain and you can get pretty infinite adjustment you know by moving the legs of the tripod in and out and then there's several different sizes of S hook so I think this is going to work fine it's a little breezy this morning, so I'm not sure I want to um, light a fire right now. But um, if it if it warms up, or not warms up, but if it, the wind calms down later, um, I have I don't even know why we have this, but we have this uh, enameled you know campfire coffee pot, teapot, um, and we'll try we'll boiling some water. Okay, let's do that. Okay, well, here we are out in the woods and have a little fire going, warming up some water. Uh, I did try this yesterday. We had the whole family out and we made a little bit of hot cocoa right here. And all the woods here are super frozen and soaked, so we had a little bit of trouble getting the fire hot enough and um, we certainly had to drop the pot much closer to the fire than in the picture to get any kind of uh, boiling action on the water. Um, so I have a little bit. Also, yesterday I had um, sort of some stones set up right next to the fire, um, kind of as a little bit of a fire ring, but experienced some explosive behavior um, with these stones you know this is a sedimentary rock and as the fire heated them up they started to basically spall off explosively not having the stones around the fire is a little bit safer it seems like um, it stays a little more controlled so um, yeah so this definitely works, and hopefully it looks like the water is already starting to steam a little bit, so we'll get a little bit of tea going in a sec. Okay, so there you have it. Pretty much does what I wanted it to do. And that was a really quick and fun little project and a perfectly acceptable cooking tripod. Although I do recognize there's a big learning curve to really using one of these uh, campfire cooking sets effectively, but uh, if we want to come out and make tea in the woods, we've got a good setup here. And all it is is just a little bit of chain, 
a little bit of quarter inch rod to make some S hooks. You could pretty much do everything in this project with, you know, without a forge. You could just work it all cold. Um, so, yeah, an alternative to making one of these tripod sets. Inspired by an anime. Um, so, yeah, I hope this was interesting for everybody and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.